and EJ will open up through the air. And he's able to find Rashad Grant. Out of the gun on second and three. And he gets this complete for a first down. Start the game on that side against that talented Florida State defensive front. Second and 11 now. Manuel. And a pump. Only able to get back to the board for their defense against the ACC champs. DJ Manuel, plenty of time, and that is caught. Looks to be just a conference selection is Ward. I want you to see this. You know, I have watched a lot of film this year on offensive lines, and I've got to tell you, Tess. Second and seven for Manuel. And he goes underneath that time as he's able to come back in, converted the fourth down moments ago. They go play action. What a nice fake by Manuel. And he's able to find O'Leary. And Green space ahead. He fumbles the ball. And in deep here after that 52-yard punt by Jordan Lynch. DJ Manuel had his incomplete off the hands of Big. The recruiting guru putting together another stellar class. Play action now. Manuel with time downfield finds Greg Dent. And the speed of Florida State. And this is what I was talking about. Now, he's going to get out of that. And see, as soon as he opens those hips, Dent has him beat. He just turns that calling flat, I should say. Little touch pass ahead here to Rashad Green. And Green touch back again. Second and four. Bad snap. E.J. Manuel at six foot five, able to go up and get it and make the most of it as he gets back dealing with it. Wait so heavily on him. Third down and five. That was deflected at the line of scrimmage for this Husky defense. Bishop is a Florida native. Three and outs. The only one that wasn't so far tonight for Lynch was the fake punt possession. And now quickly held it. It's great for Manuel, man. He's he's going great. And coming around here is Greg Dent. And look at how quickly when you can. Uh, defend a little bit better they bring some pressure it's picked up but Manuel throws it to the outside play action and here's Pryor again Lonnie Pryor with a spin for play play action now Manuel Kenny Shaw is tackled like Watson number 71 right here He's the right tackle. Now, this is 100% man. This is an uh, outstanding athlete, but he's a big man. He's, he's a legit player. Third and two. E.J. Manuel on third and two. He was pressured, was hit as he threw, and is that a completion? No. Kenny Shaw. Ward's a safety. They're bringing him off the edge, and he comes clean right in the back, hits him down low, which is nice and safe, but he forced that bad throw, and that will force this 50-yard field goal. And that's a good call by the official. Who Play action. E.J. Manuel going downfield and getting it complete to Rodney Smith. And to do, they've got, again, no rush whatsoever on the inside. Good protection for Manuel. He's able to scan the field, and the ball's where it has to be. Now, they're giving them a lot of room on the outside, and they're taking advantage of it, Tess. And that'll look hurt. It will be a dominant force next year. Second and four. Another first down as he's able to get it to inside. They're protecting. He's not getting touched. Manuel should have a field day. Manuel. And he throws it there to the 30-yard line where it is incomplete. Their team has. Northern Illinois 0 for 6. This is a third and 11. Can the defense come up with a stop again? And they do. That's midfield. And Manuel, play action. Plenty of time. And out of the backfield, Lonnie Pryor has gone to some movement. And when that happens, sometimes it's feast or famine. Sometimes you get them, sometimes they get you. Third and three, and he's passing, and it's incomplete. What a heck of a matchup. That big old Nix, that's a man. Lewis you, Nix. You better show up to block him. Lines up the middle for the Irish. Here's Devontae Freeman in space, and Freeman.
You know, watch it right here. That's the guy who has a cover. So he, he loses him, runs back underneath, and once they had to run underneath the block, and that got him beat. And now Manuel's going to pull it from Freeman's gut, and he gets to the 49-yard line. Ready. Field is like a putting green down there. Second and five, and that is complete. Those throwing lanes become tougher and tougher in windows to throw into. Manuel with time, and he's got Kenny Shaw. And field. They find that hole in the zone, but there's nobody around him to throw. Look at that thing. Good protection, no longer. They look to add to their cushion. Manuel, look at the time he has. Finally, a bit of pressure. And he's able to get it to Shaw, who planted those. And angles for throws, they change. The windows get smaller, the angles get tougher to throw, and Manuel has a tougher time finding. Because he can move and, and run. Second and four, swings it to Kenny Shaw. Shaw makes one cut, but just... Here's Shaw again. And he stumbles. Speed to be able to get inside out. And so they're just taking that inside and dumping it on the outside. And they're forcing them to have inside. Now they have a back in there, so the numbers change. Manual to pass. To the end zone. Did he get it? Yes, they say Rashad Green. Sun foot was out. In. Out. Good call by the official right on top of it again. Great job officiating. Stabbing that left leg was Rashad Green. Look at this. Nice control. Has the ball all the way through. He's all coming forward. Play action now. And here's Pryor out of the backfield stumbling down. Some tight. Haven't seen that all night. And Manuel finds Green. And Green breaks free to the... Manuel to the end zone, and that was beyond Green. Talented, talented guy. Second goal now. Manuel to the end zone, but it was low and to the outside. Overtime. Yeah, and it's just, he has he has coverage on a man-to-man -man on the outside. He held outside leverage. Short on third and goal just before halftime. He looked Green's way. And he looked back to him, but this time. Manuel now. He's going to check down to Devontae Freeman. And Freeman able to get in in the Orange Bowl. E.J. Manuel, and that is incomplete as it was. Excellent protection. But this ball is thrown behind just a tad. And that allows... Second and ten. Screen set up for Freeman. Blockers in front. Cuts to the inside of them. Little bit of traffic. And he almost got... Going to take a shot downfield on third and five. And Green beat the ultimate picture cam. Here's another one. He knew where he wanted to go right away. Was on. The, he had that matchup on the outside against Rashawn Melvin on the... On down here in the, in the side. Melvin plays it perfectly. Green goes up, but not quite there. Matt with. They're going to pass on second and seven. And they get it complete. And what a nice move that time. Just hesitates. Because after he got hit, he had right here. You know, watch the hit. Now watch his bounce right there. He's able to keep his. And a first down just outside the 25. And that was off the mark as they tried the bubble and chip. Spread him out here on third and seven, Tess. Felt the pressure, tucks it, runs it, picks up the first down, put the ball. E.J. Manuel looking to add to their cushion here to start the fourth quarter. Here's Manuel taking it himself. And it's a power lead, but I want you to watch up front. Uh, look at that by Urban. That's now Trey Jackson comes around Wilder with the block. I mean, it doesn't with uh, with the big offensive tackle Cameron Irving. This is going to be a dominant offensive line. Third and six, and Manuel was met that time and driven back by Kent. 
You can just see old Bishop on the inside holding a point and get putting his face right in there. And a couple redshirt freshmen in the middle, sophomore and left tackle. Third and five, EJ Manuel's running option, and then 